what's up family if there's anyone still in doubt that time is accelerating i'm telling you i really really need to have a talk with you because look at how fast the year has come and gone we are moving into 2011 more revelations and so much to learn and explore it's going to be an exciting year most definitely but anyway, this video is dedicated to answering your frequently asked questions. I say it all the time, and I'm just going to repeat it again just for the sake of those of us who may be just coming into the fold. I get a lot of emails from you guys asking questions that I may have already addressed in a different video, or you may find it on astrobubaby.net. And it really is redundant, and it, and it takes up a lot of time to answer or respond to a question that I've already answered and please don't take offense to it guys um, when I give you uh, directions to just go to the website and kind of research things on your own or I'll just attach a video to ask that you watch it I'm doing it for the sake of time because uh, you know I do get a lot of email and I try to help as many people as possible and if I'm stopping to answer questions that are already out there and available it's kind of taken away from those who have questions or have a unique situation that I have not provided any direction or answers to. So please, please be mindful of that when you write me. So let's get right to those questions right now. It is correct, but that is only one perspective. Okay, let me let me explain this to you guys. Right now, as you watch this video, you are not literally here. You are a projecting. You are a projection. We are all projecting in this virtual reality. Our consciousness is like a light that is being projected through the lens of a movie screen. The backdrop is all black. What we see out here is really a projection from here out. And that projection, how we interact and perceive it, is going to be based on our social programming, our beliefs, our genetic coding, uh, educational exposure, all those things. And we are basically one mind compartmentalized experiencing and perceiving realities from infinite perspectives. So in a sense, we are projecting. Yes, we are projecting at this moment. When we astral project, it is a projection further into the holographic projection. So yes, in one sense, it is really us projecting and experiencing within our own sphere of energy as sphere it to all beings. But it is also a projection within a projection where we can shift our focus onto alternate holographic projections or realities. And this is evident in those of us who've had experiences where we've shared a, this, a same dream, the same dream with someone, or that we were able to go somewhere and validate something that we could not have known unless we had actually gone there. So yes, it is true in, from one perspective, we are within our own sphere of energy, but from a different perspective, we are projecting into other realms as well, but it is still one mind one infinite consciousness experiencing and expressing itself from infinite perspectives. I have not tried any mind altering substances. I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't do drugs. Uh, never have, and as long as I'm in my right mind, I never will. However, there are those of us who have tried things such as salvia and DMT and shrooms. Quite frankly, I've never heard of any of these things until I start doing these videos. And people just uh, 
kind of you know ask me or maybe even assume that I had tried them based on you know some of my stories because they say my stories were very similar to trips that they've had while using these tools to go into an alternate state of consciousness and um, I am one who is more on the line or more in agreement with trying to achieve these states naturally but I don't have a judgment on anyone who chooses a natural uh, tool a plant or herb or something to achieve this state if it is their own will to do so I do not have any judgments about that No, not necessarily. Let me tell you why. Astral projection is just like anything else that is new to us or somewhat foreign. Um, it is. Uh, it comes a lot more natural for some than others because uh, some people have uh, a propensity to learn things so much more quicker or master things so much quick quickly or quicker than others does not mean they're better it's just that they may have mastered this on a soul level in another lifetime or prior to coming to earth uh, some of us are young souls who are just finding our way and it may be a little more difficult uh, some of us may be doing things there may be things going on in our life poor diet lack of exercise stress levels uh, engaging in things that will weigh us down vibrationally but the thing to remember most of all is that do not assume that just because it's not happening right away that you are doing something wrong it could go either way the thing to remember is to watch your diet exercise try to remain as positive and optimistic as possible and hold on to your intent and be diligent and patient and I promise you eventually something will get through you will make a breakthrough okay this is a uh, one of those questions that I get a lot and this is your soul speaking to you saying that I'm waking up I'm taking control and so a part of our awakening is this feeling that something isn't right I'm supposed to do something but what is it what is it the best way to get that answer is by meditation you you have to literally drown out all of the the distractions out here and quiet the mind and go within and start tapping into your soul matrix and do things to help uplift inspire other people because as I always say what we do to others is ultimately what we do to ourselves when we help someone to achieve and understand and master their highest good we're ultimately doing it for ourselves keep that intent strong again it comes back to intent you tell yourself over and over speak to yourself you are a god within your universe you tell yourself get control of your mind and tell yourself i wish to i wish to know now reveal to me or remind me what it is that i'm supposed to do at this time you may not hear the answer the answer is there the problem is we can't hear it because of all of the noise and all of the distraction and the things we put in our bodies she blocks and shuts us off from it but it is there go within quiet the mind okay this is a question I get all the time 2012 what is going to happen well look around you right now what is happening we see the breakdown of a system that is not working for the highest good of all it's just not and it's not and it has to come down we're also noticing people are starting to look at life 
differently. More people are waking up. People are hungry. People are ready for change. The word revolution comes to mind. We see uprising. We're going to see more of this. In the sense, 2012 is already here. It really is just a shift in uh, consciousness, or some people would even say that it's the beginning or end of a cycle. It, again, it's a matter of perspective, what you're looking at, what, what you believe. Our mind creates our reality. We are in our own bubble, so to speak. So let's just put it like this. 2012 is a window of great, great opportunity. It is a time where we can manifest either the highest good or the opposite of that. And if you are one who is all about the highest good of all, 2012 will be great. You are one, you are in harmony, that, that will be just fine. If you're one who is fear-mongering and full of hate and, you know, this doomsday mentality and you just keep focusing on that and you focus on it, guess what? Because we are believing that we're going to create that a reality that's going to reflect that. People who have the doomsday mentality and they stay in it and they think it over and over and over again, Chances are they were going. They're going to find themselves in a doomsday-like scenario, whereas those of us who are projecting and thinking and feeling totally different will not find ourselves in a place or in a scenario where something like that can affect us. The phys the world as we know it is ending, not in a physical death kind of way. It is ending in terms of transforming from what we had previously seen it as in terms of our collective psyche. Oh, that's a really good one. Um, if you guys would like to um, help me out by downloading any of my videos it doesn't matter which one I don't care how many people work on a video or subtext subtext that would help me out a lot subtexting my videos is definitely something I've thought about doing but it is a lot of work um, and I'm I'm definitely going to need help with it and I get I, any of you guys permission to take my videos and put them subtext them if you guys speak another language if you can translate it my videos in another language I'm openly giving you guys permission to do so right now I uh, you know I, I know that they are brothers and sisters out there who are hearing impaired and I would love to get my message across to them as well and then there are those of us who may not have the right apparatus to listen to uh, what is coming out from the video screen and that will mean a lot to me if you guys could help me out I, it's totally open whoever whatever video you want to take and whoever wants to do it my hats off to you many of us continue to doubt our power we continue to doubt ourselves and when we doubt ourselves we become fodder to those who are service to self and orientation if you come across anyone any group or institution that tells you to do something or asks you to do something that in your gut you don't feel right about do not do it Trust your instincts. Trust it. Trust it. When someone tells you or tries to force a view, a point of view on you, and you said no, that should suffice. They should leave it be. If they keep pushing and pushing, they are trying to control you. And they may even mean well sometimes when they do this. But at the same time, even if it is something that could be to our detriment, if we don't want to do it, we have that right to say no. Because even when we make mistakes, we learn from them. And when we learn from our mistakes, we grow. It's all a part of the journey. So don't forget that, guys. This is my last video for the year. 
And um, I know, you know, we have people out there who celebrate Christmas to you guys. Have a Merry Christmas to those of us who celebrate Hanukkah. Happy, happy Hanukkah for those of us who celebrate whatever. Happy, merry, joyful travels, all those good things. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Be safe. We have one incredible year ahead of us. Keep love in your heart because you are love beyond measure and happy, happy travels.